These groups all had the same exact amount of training time, but this group blew them away. Here's why. Hey everybody, Dr. Thomas Cole here for Lighthawk FPS. This video is about how to maximize our training for maximum gains. The training of complex task performance from all the way back in 1989 had the goal of figuring out what the quickest way to train a complex task was. The task they used in the study is a game made specifically for studying stuff like this called Space Fortress. This means that while this study wasn't looking at AIM exactly, it's at least looking at an interface device with similar degrees of freedom. So the study designers took 33 students, all 18 to 24 years old, and split them into three groups. All of these groups received initial instruction and then had different training after that. Group 1, the control group, was told that the goal was to obtain the highest game score they could. Group 2, the integrated training group, received special instructions and were given feedback about two aspects of the game, controlling ship flight and identification and destruction of mines. The integrated group was encouraged to focus on aspects of the task where additional feedback was provided instead of trying to maximize their score. Group 3, the hierarchical training group, received instructions and practice on 27 subtasks designed to train the different components of the Space Fortress game and their hierarchical integration. I'll call them the part training group from here on. Now they took these groups and gave them each seven one-hour training sessions based on what group they were in. Then they all gave the groups three one-hour sessions of standard gameplay, trying to get the highest score they could. After that, they did a little extra with seeing how each group performed when doing something else while playing the game, dual task performance. The results were very interesting. Here's a graph of the results. The part training group doesn't even show up until the first free play game session because they hadn't actually played the game, just worked on broken down pieces of the game. At the beginning, you see that the integrated group actually seems to be learning more slowly than the control group, but that actually makes sense. You'll remember they weren't told to even try to get a high score, just focus on the parts that they were working on. The integrated group overtakes the control group and keeps their lead through the rest of the study. The really interesting part here though is the part training group. They start off below the control group, but quickly jump above to lead the pack in high score. The part training group had been practicing all the pieces separately, so when it came time to put them all together, they had to figure that out. Once they did, they were so much better at all the different parts that they quickly took first place. So when you look at the numbers for playing the game alone, the part training group comes out solidly on top. The integrated group came out in second place, and the control group, who just played the game, lagged behind. But something interesting happened when they had the different groups try and do something else at the same time as playing the game. Go. And if you notice there, the water is spilling. <laughs> In a lot of cases, when they had to do something else at the same time, like say a random letter or tap their feet to a rhythm, the hierarchical group, the part training group, actually performed worse than the integrated group and sometimes even the control group. Weird. Why would that be the case? Why? 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 The scientists in the study think it might have to do with the difference in learning pieces separately versus focusing on pieces while performing the task itself. It's possible that by learning the pieces separately, you're building a more complex strategy, which takes more brain power. On the other hand, by learning parts while performing the whole, the integrated group, you may be able to simplify everything into a single task skill. That would mean that part training in a more discrete way can end up providing skills that are more transferable to other similar tasks though. Interesting. Finally, they found that people who started with lower scores did worse overall than control in the integrated group, but not in the part training group. This might be because the task was too hard for them, and instead of being able to figure out the basics, they were given instruction and feedback that they weren't ready for, and then they were also asked to play the game. In the part training group, low scorers got to break it all down into simple tasks, and that still worked great. We're not learning to play Space Fortress though, so how can we use this in aiming? All we have to do is break things down. Let's go over some examples. If your goal is to actually work on timing your click on a moving target, you can use a scenario called variable angle click timing. You completely take mouse movement out of the picture and just click. If you wanna work on moving in straight lines, you can use any small scenario and forget about the score. Just concentrate on moving in straight lines. Score hunting is not your friend in part training. It can also be something like what Coach Delight talks about in this training video. Now the efficient way to handle moving targets is to intercept them on their path, but I was treating the targets like they were static to attack them quickly, then making up for my error with small corrections. 
Aiming is a super complex task with tons of different ways it can be broken down. Finding what we need to work on and understanding how to work on it is a huge part of what Coach Delight and I have been working on over the past several years. But it is possible to figure it out, and the more you practice breaking things down, the better you will get at it. If you're interested in how we've broken things down and made training more effective, stop by our Discord. The link is in the description below. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps get the word out. I've been Dr. Tomahawk Cole for Lighthawk FPS. Have fun solving the mysteries of aiming. Bye bye Many games, targets go through a deceleration. Good response isn't going to be exactly the same for you. Designed to train the different components of the Space Force Re Designed to train the diff Designed to train the different components of the Space Designed to train different components of the Space Fortress game and their hierarchical integration.